Welcome everyone to the NBA preseason here at the Palace of Auburn Hills in Detroit. The Detroit Pistons will face off against the visiting Pacers here on the NBA on ESPN. Hello there, along with Bill Walton, Bob Fitzgerald on hand, Michelle Tafoya will join us in a bit. Bill, as we take a look at both teams, what do you think will be the keys to victory? Well, basketball is definitely a team team, but you can't win it all without great players. Richard Hamilton is a supremely talented player. His mid-range shooting touch is just so impressive. If you leave him open for even a nanosecond, he'll bury the J with no hesitation. And on the other side is another guy who can certainly take over this game. Jermaine O'Neal is one of the most dominant power forwards in the entire league. When I look at this guy, three words come to mind. No easy buckets. If you drive the lane when he's down low, prepare for contact. Thank you, Bill. We're just about ready for the tip to get this one started. Pacers get the tip and we're underway. Michelle Tafoy has some extra info for us. Michelle? Thanks, Bob. I spoke with the Pistons head coach back by the locker room, and his main focus was on the offensive end of the floor. He said, we're going to our strength, and that means going to our shooters. This could be a very high-scoring game. Back to you, Fitz. Thanks, Michelle. Pass to Wallace. Wallace. Artes grabs the rebound. Rashid Wallace needs a little more space to hit that jumper reliably. Obviously, the defender had other plans. Tries the spin move. I wasn't expecting the finesse move from him that time, Fitz, but that spin followed up by the throwdown is about as good as it gets. Inbound pass to Billups. The Pistons advance, and we have a four-point game. Artes saw the opportunity and snatched it away. Graceful finish. They bring it up court. 157 left in the first. Shoots it up. Can't nail the jumper. The defense did a very good job of staying right up on him, and his middling mid range game just wasn't up to the task. Passes to Jackson. Backs down. Eight feet out. It's run down for a defensive rebound by Wallace. The pass to O'Neal with the crossover. Shoots right block. Rebounded inside by Wallace. They're running. Alters his release. He gets hammered and he'll head to the strike. Oh, come on, please come on now. And it's good. He gets a bolt. The Pacers bring it up court, and they're up 6-2. to two. Tries the spin move. Let's it go from the wing. Foster reels in the offensive rebound. Comes up empty from the left block. Wallace gets the whistle for blocking, and that's his first foul. Pass to O'Neal. Off the inbound. It's in. Brilliant play. Just a wonderful shot considering the difficulty of taking and hitting these leaners. They bring it up court. 104 left in the first quarter. Feeds it down low. Pump fakes. Shoots from the post. Snaps net. You have to be disciplined on defense because biting on every pump fake isn't a good idea. Spins to Jackson. The bounce pass to Artest. Passes to Foster. Foster. Money on the jump shot. The inbound to Billups. The Pistons advance it, and they're down 10 to 4. Pass to Prince. Pulls up from the elbow. It falls. 
definitely some knee play worthy material on this one, Fitz. Watch how he really took advantage of the situation. Six second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Swings it to Artes. Swatted by Big Bang. Phillips stole that one away. Graceful finish. Sometimes you just have to force things to create your own offense. He did a nice job of going inside to make something out of nothing. Passes to the baseline. To Tinsley. The trade. Nice board by the tenure vet out of North Carolina. Offline by Wallace. There's the horn, and we've got a tight one at the end of one, 10 to 8. <laughs> Wallace inbounds to start the second quarter. Trades inside. Too much mustard on that one. It's two on one. Passes to Foster. The finisher plucked out of the sky by Hamilton. Jeff Foster should think twice before he takes that shot. And if he still wants to shoot it, he should think a third time. That's not his game. Takes it up. Foster crashes the boards inside. Tries the spin move. Dumps it to the middle. Throws it up. Gets it to fall. The name of the game is finishing off the play, Fitz. That wasn't an easy layup by any stretch of the imagination. And he had to earn what he got that time. Nice job of going to the rack and laying it in there. Pistons working up court, and they're behind by four. The pass to Hamilton. Shoot from the corner. Not this time. They bring it up court. 204 left in the second. Tries the spin move. Tinsley. Finishes with a soft touch. That spin is a tough move to make and recover from, but it didn't hurt his ability to finish one bit that time, Fitz. To Prince. Let's fly from the wing. Rebounded by Foster. That's not the kind of shot you want to work for on offense. There had to be something better than that. The Pacers recover the loose ball. Foster gets his sixth point of the game. Inbound pass to Billups. The skip pass to Wallace. Spins. Pass to Jackson. Takes the turnaround, Jay. Money. Jackson. It's always a good thing to see players making plays. He saw the opening, and he took it in to score the basket. The Pistons advance that we have a 10-point game. Passes to Prince. Skips it to Wallace. Spins to stop the run. It's good. How about my newest best friend, Rasheed Wallace? This is such a remarkable story. This guy has torched, burned, and left in flaming ruins every single franchise he has ever left. And now, all of a sudden, he comes to Detroit and voila, it's Steve perfect. Jackson. Finally, Rasheed Wallace has found what it's like to travel commercial where you lose your luggage. They can go two for one here if they want, Fitch. Let's see how they manage the clock. Beyond the arc. O'Neal yanks down the defensive rebound. Seven second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. The pass to Tinsley. Unloads from nine. Wallace falls in his third rebound. Run or test couldn't make the most of that opportunity. Those are the breaks. Sometimes you do everything right and they still don't go. The dish to Hamilton. To the rim. Good. To the 12. All five starters in double figures. 
the Pacers have played a very intelligent game tonight. And Wallace is fouled, and Wallace did. Oh, oh Wallace, right at our chest. This has potential to be serious if they don't get between. Wallace upset. Players trying to hold each other off. Steven Jackson will receive Wallace trying to be peacemakers. Now Jackson yelling. Wallace still going. You need the coaches in there to get him away. Jackson Steven, challenging Derek Coleman. Somebody should just get Jackson out as quickly as possible. The problem is if Wallace is ejected, I'm not sure. He'd have to walk past the pace of bench to go. Now Artest has jumped over the scorer's table and is trying to get down to the bench. Artest is in the stands. Oh, this is awful. Fans are getting involved. Steven Jackson's in the fans. Rasheed Wallace going into the stands. The security trying to somehow restore order. Fans and players are going at it, and the players trying to help each other out. This is a disgrace. All the players now, they're jumping in there to try and get the other players out because the fans have come involved. Oh, what a sad scene here at the Palace. And now another fight's breaking out in front of the Pistons bench. It's a, it's a fan on the court. This is very, very dangerous. Fans are throwing cups with liquid in them now onto the court. Ron Artest has a look in his eye that's very scary right now. You wonder if the official's going to let this game continue. Now they're throwing bottles out onto the floor. They're trying to get the Pacers to go back to the locker room. What was maybe you could call a hard foul at best has turned into a just a, an ugly, ugly scene. Chuck Person. The officials, I think they're going to call this game off, and that should be. The, the outcome is definitely decided. You have these ridiculous fans trying to go at the players and now throwing. Somebody could really get hurt. This is a bad showing from the piston stands here. Just firing bottles from the stands. The Pacers have all gone back in toward the locker room. And they're getting thrown a lot of debris. And they're still not all the way through. And for some reason, one of the Pacers, they hold Austin Crozier out. They won't want to get under the tunnel because they're afraid for his safety. They're pouring liquid over. What a disgraceful showing from the Pistons fans here. Hamilton, dishes to the middle, Wallace, puts it in for two. The name of the game is finishing off the play pits. That wasn't an easy layup by any stretch of the imagination, and he had to earn what he got that time. Nice job of going to the rack and laying it in there. To Jackson. Pass to Jackson. Passes to Artes with the crossover. the high post gets nothing but net. Apart from probably Ben Wallace, I think Ron Artest just might be the best defensive basketball player in the game today. Bobby, did you know that he held opponents that he was checking to an average of only eight points per game last season? That is flat out incredible. He is simply a good, fundamentally sound, hard-nosed basketball player. Travis has been moved. Shoots from the post. Impressive play that this one's worthy of a second. The Pacers advance it and they lead 25 to 22. Kick out to Jackson. Tries the spin move to our test. The Pistons touched it last right before it went out of bounds. Off the inbound pass. Nails it. Jamal Tinsley. When you get in close like that, you have to be able to seal the deal no matter how much traffic you're in fits. That was a nice play. Who's got man? Who's got man? Phillips brings it up court, and he can pick up assist number five this trip down the floor. The feed from Hamilton to the bucket. 
gets the bucket. Martez inbound to Tinsley. Dumps it off. Spins. The pass to Tinsley. Bounce pass to O'Neal. With the hook shot. Wallace hauls in the rebound. That's only his third. They can go two for one if they hurry, Fitz. Floats it up. Rips goal. Fantastic shot. Especially considering that his momentum is still carrying him forward. The Pacers work it up court, and we have a one-point game. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Tinsley. Let's it go from the ring. That's rebound number four by Wallace. Changes the shot. Brings it off the back of the rim. Passes to Tinsley. We've just finished the third, and it's still anybody's ball game. The score, 27 to 26. Our test inbounds it to start the final quarter. Crosses it over. The pass to Foster. 13 feet out. O'Neal goes way up to get that rebound. Lays it right in. Sometimes you just have to force things to create your own offense. He did a nice job of going inside to make something out of nothing. To Prince. The bounce pass to Wallace. Puts it up. Misses the low percentage shot. Rasheed Wallace can't be happy about that miss. They don't get much easier than that. Pass to O'Neal. Spins. Passes to Foster. The pass to Artest. Takes a three. Wallace skies for the rebound. Swings it to Hamilton. Here comes the double team. To Wallace. Dishes it down low. Wallace hits the left rim and out. He got great position down low, but the defense flustered him. That shot was worthless. Shoots from 12. No good, and the lead stays at three. The pass to Prince. The skip pass to Hamilton. Fires from the high post on the mark. The nice thing about a replay is getting to see exactly how the play developed for the score. The Pacers bring it up court. They're shooting 51% from the floor. Pass to O'Neal. Gives the up fake. Takes the turnaround, Jay. Bricks off Ryan Iron. No good. The Pacers touched it last right before it went out of bounds. Tries to back down. Seven on the shot clock. Pass it to Hamilton. Foster ripped it down with the step back. Steps back and fires. The inbound to Billups. Slides in. Missed, and they're still behind by three. Prince with the interception. Fired long by Prince. O'Neal heads up court. He's shooting 42% from the floor. Knocks it down. And he's 
splits the free throws. It would be hard to catch up on. They need to score quickly and then foul right away. Automatic. He gets the first of two. He's off on the second. They're running. Hamilton. Fires from the right block. Edge out the Pistons, 33 to 32. It was a tight game, Bill. Well, there's no question. The Pacers played a pretty even match today stat-wise, but they were simply the hungrier team. You won't find a column for desire on the stat sheet, but when it's all said and done, that hunger to win is the most important thing. Well, thanks. We also don't want to forget our player of the game. O'Neal had a great game. He finishes with 7.6 rebounds, and he's our ESPN player of the game. For Bill Walton, Michelle Tafoya, I'm Bob Fitzgerald, saying so long, and thanks for watching ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.